Today we're out exploring in the Texas Hill Country. Fall is officially here. The foliage is changing and scattering patches of autumn colors throughout the hills and rivers and cool star-filled night skies perfect for stories around the campfire. This is the time of year us Texans look forward to to finally get out and explore our Lone Star State. This trip was a special one to me. We got the chance to explore this beautiful place with members of our Patreon group and a few familiar faces as well. Even though we all just met, it's crazy how getting a group of like-minded people together makes you feel like you've known each other for years. As always, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm all. I just can't see. Maybe. Maybe I'll run into a tree. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. okay. first stop was to check out an old honey cabin, tucked back into the canyon underneath a dense canopy of oak trees, reminding us of the simpler, slower times of the past. The technology-free, family-oriented, living-off-the-land lifestyle that I honestly wish that we all could go back to sometimes. You go see the cabin? All right, watch your step. Whoa! Cool, the fridge, right? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy because all of us would be fine with just this. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. It's a bunk bed. What? This would be perfect. This old fridge, man. Still works, dude. Still works. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's all frozen. When stuff was built right. Awesome, look at that little card. Hey, this is cool. Okay, I can go keep this. You'd never see me, bro. I oh, yeah. this place I'd be in this. Put this in the mountains, the dude. Evening. Even right here. Even here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at it. This is cool. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, 
was trying to make it cool and you hit the open it all the way. You should get back. <laughs> like a slow motion. Colty wants cheese. Cheese! Yeah, 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 get me! <laughs> After stretching out our legs and letting the kids run around and use up their energy at the cabin, we headed towards a steep rocky hill climb that led to an awesome ridge with one of the best hill country views that I have seen to this day. This was our first time on this trail, so all of us were excited to see what was ahead, and knowing we had a two-wheel drive truck in the convoy made it that much more fun. Adventures like this are a group effort, and there was no way we weren't going to do everything we could to get our friend John to the top of this ridge. You get buried? Yeah. You use a winch. I'll spot you, bro. Uh, let's go back like a good like eight feet, dude. He's gonna have to go higher than that. Give it gas. There you go. There you go. How's that tree look, Corey? Okay. You got it, dude. Let it cut the slack. There you go. Good job, man. Hell yeah. Keep going about four more feet. Things are getting sketchy out here. <laughs> there's really, what? There's a really good obstacle coming up. Oh no, really good obstacle. That's a big old rock. Yeah, alright. This is stressing me out. Oh, I did not get the good footage here.
Cut it, driver. Now go straight. There you go. Passenger, straight. Easy money, big dog. Like a combination of like using your cardio to climb. I know. Plus you're trying like... to like keep your heart rate normal because you're doing crazy shit. It's like, oh boy. I hate this stuff. I hate it. My heart. But there's nothing past here, right? No, it's, it opens up pretty, pretty easy after this. You make it look easy, Paula. He threw a block. Yes, I man. saw that. <laughs> so sick, dude. As we always say, these videos just do not do it justice. This was a super steep hill filled with loose rocks and some rutted areas making it hard to find traction. But after a few more tugs and proper wheel placement, we all made it out safely. The work we put in made the approach to the top of the ridge that much more rewarding. And huge shout out to John for not giving up, making it through the trail, and truly pushing his truck to the limits. It's awesome to see that when most of these $100,000 decked out trucks we see around town never even leave the pavement. Needless to say, we couldn't wait to get to the viewpoint and enjoy a well-deserved celebratory cold one. After enjoying the view and some shared laughs about the adventure we just had, we started making our way down the ridge to base camp. There's only one way to end a day like this, and that's with good food and cold drinks around the campfire. And to say the least, we all were thirsty and definitely worked up an appetite. So we made it back to camp. We got all the rigs set up behind me and uh, we are getting ready to start cooking dinner. So tonight we are doing a potluck. So everybody's pitching in. We're all kind of cooking our own things and then we're just gonna have a freaking feast whenever uh, everything is ready. So it should be good. We got plenty of firewood. We got a nice fire ring. We got tons of cold drinks. It's gonna be a great night.
Ya Okay, last one, Brooks. No more after this, okay? Because it's, it's 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 lowering every time y'all go. <laughs> we got some fajitas, potatoes, mushrooms, chicken, backstrap, asparagus. What are you eating? Cake already? Pulled pork, beef stroganoff. We are feasting tonight. What's up, dude? What you doing, huh? Good morning. So we had a awesome night here at camp. It was so much fun. Everybody had a blast. The kids had a blast. It was just super cool and a really good time. But uh, we're all kind of just cooking breakfast now, trying to wake up a little bit. We stayed up super late and um, might have drank a little bit too much. Uh, definitely feeling it a little bit this morning, but it was worth it. We had a lot of fun. And I didn't get much sleep because I slept in this awning room in the Forerunner last night. And I slept on that air mattress and that's how it ended up in the middle of the night. So it was me and my son in there and it just caved in on us and he was just rolling on top of me with what little air was left in the thing. But uh, got some sleep, not bad. But it's a beautiful morning, it got real chilly last night, probably 50 degrees out and it was just perfect camping weather. I'm gonna finish eating breakfast, kind of just hang out for a little while, slowly pack things up, and uh, I guess we're gonna head on out of here.
they let me drive their new 2024 Land Cruiser 250. This thing is a beast. Oh, hey, what you doing back there? Yeah, super cool rig. Thanks for letting me drive it. Yeah, yeah good seeing you. Yeah, take care. Yeah, you too. All right, Kyle, Thank have you. a good one, man. And y'all, uh, Kyle is new to his YouTube journey. He's uh, one of the only Texas guys that are actually doing this. There's not a lot of us in Texas. So go follow him. You can find me at Ram Cruiser Overland. Awesome. And Instagram, Kyle Throws Tools. That's correct. Yeah, awesome, man. Good seeing you, bro. Good seeing you. It was yeah, a great trip. Care. Thank yeah. you. Have fun tomorrow, too. Will do. Yeah.